Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Today we'll learn how to build a no-code feedback web app using Lovable. You don't need to know how to design or code. Lovable does most of the work for you using artificial intelligence. All you need is a clear idea of what kind of app you want to build. I'll walk you through the entire process step by step. Let's get started. Open your browser and go to lovable.dev. If you haven't signed up yet, you can create an account using your email or Google login. Once you're logged in, you'll land on your project dashboard. This is where all your previous and current app projects will be listed. Now, let's begin the process of building your application. Look for a button labeled Ask Lovable or something similar. This will be your starting point. Once you click it, the system may prompt you to provide a short description of what you want the app to do. This is where you can simply write something like, create a feedback center where users can submit their name, email, a feedback type, rating, and message. I also want to be able to view all submissions. After you enter this prompt and submit it, give it a few seconds. Lovable will take your description and automatically generate a fully functional feedback app for you. There's no need to write any code, configure settings, or even drag and drop components manually. The AI understands your intent and creates a clean, professional-looking interface that's ready to use right away. It's designed to save you time and make app creation as effortless as possible. Once the app is generated, you'll see two main parts on the screen. On the left, Lovable shows you a summary of what it built. This might include features like a two-tab interface, a feedback form, form validation, toast notifications, and a live submission counter. On the right side, you'll see the actual app preview. You can try it right away. Now let's walk through what this app does. You'll notice a header that says Feedback Center along with a short description that invites users to share their thoughts. Below that, you'll see two tabs, one labeled Submit Feedback and the other labeled View Feedback. These tabs make it easy to switch between sending new feedback and reviewing past submissions. Let's go into the feedback form. In the Submit Feedback tab, the app has already created several input fields for you. There's a space for name, email, feedback type, a star-based rating system, and a message box. Try typing into the form now. Enter your name and email. Then select a feedback type. It might have options like bug, feature, or general. Click on the stars to rate your experience. Then write a message in the text box such as, the app is really smooth to use. Now it's time to test the form. Go ahead and click the button labeled Submit Feedback. When you do, the app will process the information you've entered and provide immediate visual feedback. If everything is filled out correctly, you should see a small success message or toast notification appear, usually near the bottom or top corner of the screen, letting you know your submission was successful. However, if you've accidentally skipped a required field, like forgetting to enter your email or rating, or if you've entered something invalid, for example, typing an incorrect email format, the app will automatically alert you with an error message. These messages are part of the app's built-in form validation system, which ensures users provide complete and accurate information before the form is accepted. It's a helpful feature that improves user experience and ensures clean data without requiring any extra work on your part. Next, switch to the View Feedback tab. You should now see your submission appear here, showing the name, feedback type, rating, and the message you just wrote. This list updates automatically with each new submission, and a live counter will show how many feedback entries have been added. One thing to know is that by default, Lovable stores this feedback in the browser session. That means the data stays there while you're using the app, but it won't be stored in a permanent database unless you add backend integration later. For now, it works great for demos or internal use. Let's look at how you can make changes to the app. In this version of Lovable, you don't need to manually drag and drop elements or reposition buttons. 
Instead, you interact with the AI by typing natural language instructions, making the app building experience faster and more intuitive. To make changes or add features, simply scroll back to the left-hand side of the screen where you'll find the edit or chat panel. It's labeled something like Ask Lovable. Click into that area and you'll be able to type a new instruction for the AI. For example, if you want to include a phone number field in the form, you can type something like Add a required phone number field to the feedback form. Then hit Enter. Within a few seconds, Lovable will update your app based on your request. You should see the phone number field automatically appear in the form, complete with validation if you specified that it should be required. There's no coding or layout configuration necessary. The AI handles it all for you. You can continue refining it like this. For example, you can say, change the title to Customer Insight Center, or make the feedback type field optional instead of required. You can also modify the appearance. Try prompts like change the background color to light gray or use rounded corners for the form. Lovable will interpret these instructions and regenerate the UI accordingly. Want to change the layout? You can ask something like show all feedback entries in a grid instead of a list or add filters so users can view only bug reports. While not every change will be supported right now, Lovable will let you know if a feature isn't available. You don't need to write any logic or code. Lovable takes care of things like form validation, UI formatting, and data binding automatically. This is what makes it such a great tool for beginners or for quick internal tools. If you're happy with the app, the next step is to preview it in full screen. Click on the Preview Latest button on the left or the top of the interface. This opens your app in a new tab. It works just like a regular web app. You can share this link with team members to test it out. Want to go live? Click the Publish button at the top right. Lovable will ask you to set a custom name for your app's URL. Pick something like Customer Feedback App or whatever fits your brand. Once published, your app is live and shareable. Anyone with the link can access it, just like a normal website. You can come back anytime and make changes. Lovable will update the live version automatically when you republish. That's it for this tutorial. Today, you learned how to create a working feedback app using Lovable. You learned how to describe your app idea in a prompt, test the form, view submissions, and publish your app. You also learned how to update the app using natural language instructions. Whether you're collecting customer feedback, creating internal tools, or testing ideas for a startup, Lovable gives you a fast and easy way to build without code.